Hey, welcome to worshiptutorials.com. Dot C-O-M. Helix. <laughs> Thank you, Bradford. Helix Firmware 3.0 is available 3.0. now. Oh. Helix, Stomp, whatever else they're going to push out. Uh, we currently have a beta version of Firmware 3.0. At the time of this taping. And, uh, but as you were watching it, it is available. Go get it. This video is a two for one. One, we have a Princeton Reverb patch available for you to purchase. Link below. We love it. Sounds great. So we're going to talk about that patch in this video, and you're hearing samples from it in this video, but we're also answering the question, is the, the Princeton Reverb in the Helix. By the way, they added a Princeton Reverb in the Helix version 3.0. Oh yeah, that's the point of this video. <laughs> yeah, and is it any good? What does it sound like? That was clickbait, by the way. Brad, I'm just gonna tell everybody. <laughs> you made a bold statement as we were filming this. Yep. What did you say? Share it with the good people of you. This is my favorite Fendery American E amp in the Helix. So why do you say that? Why is this the best sounding in your or your favorite uh, American amp in the Helix? I have always liked American amps. Yeah. I've liked that sound. But, because uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I, this is news, but I'm a big John Mayer fan. <laughs> I know we never talk about that. Really? <laughs> um, but there's something about the way American amps, and that's that tends to be what he leans towards. Yeah. It's that kind of flavor. They're yeah. not, at least, they're not the opposite. They're not bright and chiming. Yeah. Like, like a Vox or the way, I mean, like edge stuff. We don't, yeah, yeah. you don't. So, um, I've always kind of been attracted to that sound. Um, but the more I've been doing praise and worship stuff, the more I've been liking bitey, chimey, Vox, British flavored stuff. So what I realized is Vox Overdrive, the reason I mm -hmm. like that style, it's just like, it, I would say it's buttery smooth, Yeah. but it's also not It flubby. cuts pretty good. Yeah, it cuts. And the bottom end is tight. The bottom, it, that's exactly what I was about to say. The Fender mm -hmm. stuff, the bottom end, and that's just the way they were. It's a little looser, a little flubbier. Um, now, Voxy stuff can be, we're kind of getting off on another rail here, but Voxy stuff doesn't really need as much low end. It's not really a thing, mm -hmm. and it sounds sounds great. Anyways, this Princeton, to me, mm -hmm. this style amp, is kind of like it meets in the middle. I don't know, the word I think of is soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, it's like a softer Fender amp. It's a softer Voxy vibe. Like, I wouldn't say it's a Vox vibe. It's just softer than the Vox vibe, if that makes sense. Yeah. But So, the overdrive, when you overdrive it, it's not as flubby as like a deluxe reverb or a twin, yeah. but it's not that like, that well, a box is, right. like that's important. And we've got it right here on the patch. We so let me, let me just play you a little bit of clean, and then we'll turn on like a Tube Screamer. Okay. Tube Screamers go very well with Fender Style Amps, yes, by do. the way. Yes, they do. Here we go. Sounds good. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah, so it's it doesn't have that chimey cut mid-range right. thing. Uh, it's a bigger bottom end, warmer, mm -hmm. rounder kind of a sound. It sounds really good. I will agree with you that uh, this is one of my favorite American styled amps in the in the Helix. I well, also I said favorite, so top that. Yeah, I also like the uh, the Fullerton quite a lot, which is that a, is nice. Which is like a fifties deluxe. Fender Deluxe. Mm -hmm. that we've got. Um, Segway. Yes. So again, available below. Uh, it has all kinds of stuff in it, just like any of our other patches. Tons of drive options. We have a button assigned to gain up the amp. Let's demo that real quick. So I'm going to play. Uh, it's going to be the amp set at its clean setting. Brad's going to hit the amp gain switch. You're going to hear what it does. Clean. Yeah. Edge clean. of breakup. Cleanish. Cleaner. There we go. Sounds like this. <laughs> So, 
it's not like uh, a, a higher headroom amp as you gain it up will get a lot more yeah. dirt. This is more just like more saturated. It feels like the amp is just closer to uh, blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, exploding, mm -hmm. which is cool. So this patch includes a premium Tone Junkie cab from his uh, from their C12N uh, patch pack, which is a vintage like 60s or maybe even 50s uh, Jensen C12 in speaker which c is ceramic right yeah and so it's a 12 inch speaker which is not what you would typically associate with a princeton princeton's are typically combos with 10 inch speakers but we really liked the way the 12 inch speaker made the amp feel just a little bit bigger mm -hmm. uh you could think of it as you could think of this patch as sort of a modified princeton maybe a little bit more like what tyler would do with like their pt series mm -hmm. of amps yep. or jt or whatever they yeah, well, are well it used to JT be jt but now it's jt yeah yeah so it's kind of this is kind of a modified princeton in that respect because we're not sticking with the t traditional 10 inch speaker but we think that it just really sounds great with yeah. this amp and it is i i did a bunch of research into this what people mod princeton's all the time a popular modification to a princeton reverb combo is to put or princeton reverb is to put this 12 inch speaker in there this okay. Jensen C12 in speaker. Well, look at that. So we did it for you digitally. Yes. yes. But if you want, you can grab, you know, you can use the stock cabs that they released with this as well, which sound great. Uh, we don't have them ready to demo here for you in this video. But, uh, but yeah, so this patch includes a ton of uh, drives, uh, gain staging, lots of delay, lots of reverb. We have both tremolo and chorus in here. Kick that tremolo on. Let's, let's listen to that because it's one of Bradford's favorite. Instant vintage. If you're <laughs> listening in head with headphones. Yeah, yeah. Nice, the tremolo does this because it's in stereo after everything, yeah. after the amps and stuff. What else do we have to say about the Princeton Reverb? Well, so here's Princeton, mm -hmm. about this big-ish, yeah, they're, they're in this range. Mm -hmm. It's not very huge. Um, so to me, it's like funny to think about the huge sounds we're getting out of this. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> you just throw a stereo reverb, massive stereo reverb after it, and yeah, yeah boom, there you go. So it's, it's a cool sound. Um, I have, I've always been a fan of like Princeton style stuff. I've played things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, of course, digital modelers, you know, yep. whatever. Um, but I like it. They're just, they're smooth. They still yeah. have that roundness, but it's not super tubby. Yeah. Like a Fender sound is going to, is typically known for being a little tubby. Yeah. Um, I mean, just because they're so clean even and punchy. Um, and like your overdrive is, I wouldn't say there's a lot of low end. So when you, when it, uh, overdrives, it's gonna feel a little tighter it feels a little more fluid um you know as you crank up gains on most amps but especially like on fender stuff they get even more bass heavy yeah um, but actually with our amp game switch and sometimes it falls apart yeah it, or way. it sounds like the sound's falling apart and yeah. that that is a sound some people like so yeah but you don't hear it as much in praise and worship yeah tones. but like yeah but like those those uh that kind of frequency, that kind of thing, would just get lost in yes. a mix, anyways. Like with, the, with ten cents. Yeah. So you want you want it to be guitars. tight. Yeah. Um, so that amp gain. Normally, we make some other adjustments when we hit the amp gain switch, mm -hmm. and we wanted to goose the amp. This this is like just the gain. Yeah, we didn't feel like we needed to lower the the bass or anything like that. Yeah, which I would say, as as far as I can tell, I would say that that's pretty true to form. Yeah. Um, you know, so like, so it's not like they like adjusted it just. You know, because most of our amp gain switches, we have to compensate with some volume and some bass, mm -hmm. to try to make it a little more usable. But um, it's a cool sound. Yeah. Like it's not massive. Like the clean isn't like massive and like a deluxe reverb kind of thing. 
but uh, it's also, it doesn't sound like a small amp. Like, it doesn't sound like a small sound, I guess. Yeah. You kind of hear that small amp. It does sound amp. like a small amp, but not, but it can be big. And yeah, it's not a boxy small right. sound. Like, like I just don't, I'm not playing through this thing thinking like, good gosh, this is garbage yeah. and tiny and whatnot. It's just, it's not, it's not boomy. It's not ginormous. Yeah. It's not like cut your head off chime. It's, yeah. this sits right in the middle, I think. <laughs> guitar player his desert eye he's i've watched some interviews from him he's been asked like if you had one amp for the rest of your life just one which would it be fender princeton reverb mm. so there you go line six you nailed it with this thing as well as all the other awesome goodies that you've included in firmware 3.0 which we have videos that are going to be highlighting and telling you about and demonstrating links below for all that stuff links below to grab this patch thanks for watching subscribe See you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.